Hey guys, it's Courtney here, and I apologize if the quality of this video is not as well as my other ones. Not that they're great either, <laughs> but um, I have my two little ones, my Bonnie, Bra Bonnie Brown babies. Um, I think I've shown a video of, of Levi already. Um, it's been very confusing, the order of the videos <laughs> that I've made. Um, but if not, this is little Levi. Um, he is the Levi Sculpt by Bonnie Brown, and I've decided to keep his name. I've always loved the name Levi. Um, in fact, some of you remember Joshua um, from my previous videos. Uh, he was the Divine Sculpt by Tammy Yari. I named him Joshua Levi, but I always just called him Joshua, so um, I wanted to reuse that name. So this is Levi, and he is mine. I did decide, I ultimately decided to keep him. Um, there's a couple things I wasn't happy with about him. I originally intended to um, make him for the show, but his eyebrows, unfortunately, um, were not what I had planned on doing. Uh, when I put the, um, when I mixed up the color and started to do his eyebrows, they went on a lot darker than I had t intended for them to be. Um, and when I tried to remove it, um, because it was a darker stain, it really did stain the vinyl underneath and the amount of scrubbing that I did was starting to take off the layer up underneath um, which made me really nervous so um, his eyebrows are not at all what I had <laughs> envisioned for him um, and for that reason, you know, and plus the reason, the other reason that I love him so much um, this one's going to be mine I'm undecided if I'm going to be able to um, be able to make another Levi in time for the doll show. Um, that's kind of up in the air. <clears throat> but this little one, um, Saskia, also by Bonnie Brown. I just finished her painting yesterday, and she turned out so nice. She's got the sweetest little feet and hands and arms and legs are so chunky. And oh, this little girl, she's so cute. From the moment that I saw the um, prototype by Sylvia Creations, um, I knew I had to have her because she reminds me so much of me and my brother when we were babies. And she just honestly looks like she is a part of uh, my family. She just looks like most babies. <laughs> Um, that have been the family. Her eyebrows turned out much nicer, <laughs> as you can see. But um, when I originally bought her, I planned to keep her. Um, and I love how she turned out. Um, and so I'm very excited to have her in my collection. They're both going to get hair eventually. Um, but my focus is on my doll show babies right now. So they may or may not be rooted in time for the doll show. Um, I'm unsure if they're going to be coming with me or not. Um, but I just love them so much, and they turned out really good. Um, there were no problems painting them, uh, overall. There was no problems, uh, with the paint adhering or anything like that. Uh, they just turned out really nice, really sweet. Um, I'm unsure, uh, I was unsure about her eyes. She currently has a newborn gray color. And um, I would I would prefer them to be a little bit lighter. And so I have some like true blue eyes that I put in, but they were almost too bright. Uh, but Bountiful Baby sells a um, a glass oval eye. Oval eye fits her really well, by the way. Um, I tried round eyes in her, and I never could get them to look right. So I the oval eyes she she has currently um, 22 millimeter oval glass eyes that I got from Bountiful Baby. They're really good price and they're beautiful eyes. They really are. Um, they've become my favorite, especially for the price. And um, so I, they have a, a blue eye um, that has a larger iris, which I think I want to try on her. Um, I just can't bring myself to pay uh, $7.50 shipping for a pair of little tiny eyes. So I'm going to have to see <laughs> if there's any uh, anything else from Bountiful Baby that I want to get before I... Uh, before I make the purchase of getting the glass eyes because obviously I want her to be um, to look lovely um, but for now they're fine um, they, like they look actually really good in this light but in other lighting that's a little bit darker um, they just look really dark and I don't really like that um, but the blue eyes are really bright so um, so yeah the video that I'm making now I wanted to show you these two I have not come up with a name for her yet 
Um, I have two in mind. Um, and um, I imagine that I'm going to be keeping them bald for a while. So I'll have to call her something. So um, I'm trying to decide between the two. I might do a poll on Facebook or something uh, in the next few days. Maybe to help determine <laughs> what I want to name her. Um, and I also have a little bit of haul that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, all of these things came from, well, most of these things came from TJ Maxx. But I found these at Home Goods, And they're so lovely. They're lambs, of course. And they're the mint green color. I think these were out specifically for Easter. But they're really perfect. These are my, um, my nursery colors is mint green um, and cream, which is what this color is, mint green and cream. And then the lamb is in white glitter, and it's really pretty. But they only have three. I picked up all I had. They only have three. I want to um, look around. I looked at TJ Maxx, and, um, but I haven't looked at Ross, which I think all those stores are under the same um, place. I want to look at Ross because I think these are really nice to be able to give for people who uh, buy my dolls really nice um, little gift bags to put some goodies in. They just suited everything really nicely. So I really wish I could find more of these. I might uh, look online um, to see if you can buy them online because I would totally do that too. But they're really nice and I probably should find them before Easter because I imagine they'll be out of stock after then. Okay, so I found two things at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx had some really nice outfits, and I had to stop myself from buying everything. <laughs> um, but one of the things I got, and, this, and both of these purchases are made with um, this little girl in mind. Uh, one of them is this little dress here, and it just had a bit of a vintage look to it, which I really liked. Um, I love that little silver heart. And it's a dress. It's almost like a jean color dress and almost a jean material and I love the little like trim down at the bottom and it does have some little white pants that go with it um, I guess that's optional um, it did look really long for three months but I think it was still very doable so cut that and then this one here as well was really nice another just vintage dress um, and it's lined. It was just seemed like a really nice quality. And it has little bloomers. And I love these buttons on the back. Oops. Get out of the way. <laughs> I love these little buttons on the back. And then it had a little bonnet that it came with. So I think the bonnet sold me that it just kind of completed the set. So very cute. And then um, I thought these, this was at TJ Maxx as well. I thought this would pair really nicely with either outfit. I was thinking, because this one comes with a hat, but I mean just the shoes, the little booties would work really well with that. But I guess I was thinking everything for this little outfit here. I thought that would be really cute. The silver kind of comes with the little silver heart and the trim colors match perfectly and I really wanted to try the set together. It looked really cute. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a small haul, but uh, I thought you guys would want to see, and especially wanted to make this video so you guys can see um, two of my new newest additions. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This, yeah, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in another one very soon. Bye!